Hi, this is Simon from Lincolnshire in the UK, and you're watching Trucker Josh. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Back in the house today. Back home in Manitoba. Yay! So I'm asking myself, right? Why did I buy a house? The only answer I could come up with is that I want problems. Always. I want to punish myself and buy a house. And always have problems. That's sort of the same thing as owning a truck. I posted something on Facebook similar to that uh, last week, right? Why did I get into trucking? Because I want problems. Always. But that's part of life, right? It's part of life. And I'm trying to keep myself positive here right now because I got home to this. We are flooding. Not just us here at our house. Our yard is flooding. The province is flooding. We had record snowfalls. Now we're getting record rainfalls, and there's more on the way. People's basements are flooding. Our crawl space is wet. Uh, getting it's, The water's getting under the house, which means we have a leak somewhere. Uh, good thing we have nothing down there. It's just a small little crawl space. It's very small. It's only like 10 inches high. You gotta crawl on your stomach to get under the house. Whoever built this house, I don't know what they're thinking, but that's not the way I'm gonna build our future house. We're gonna have a three foot crawl space minimum. But anyway, there's a 10 inch crawl space underneath this house and it's just dirt. And right now, all of the water and the flooding from outside is underneath the house. It's getting underneath the house. And that water is trying to come up into the house successfully, I might add, in the form of some moisture. So we have a dehumidifier running up here to control that. But we're getting a new dehumidifier that's gonna go underneath in our crawl space to control the humidity down there as well. And then the fun begins. And by fun, I mean money spending. Because I love spending money on things that, that I'd much rather spend on other things. Did I say that right? I like spending my... I'd rather be spending this on a show truck. But hey, turn it, i got to keep my house standing, right? So, Okay, so here's the plan. I told you the plan already. We're going to get that dehumidifier under there just to uh, you know get things started. Uh, we're going to get the water out of there. We got to uh, encapsulate the crawl space, get that encapsulated. And then my, my dad was telling me today and my sister, they're very experienced in this kind of stuff. We got to get the outside barriered as well. So we'll start with a dehumidifier and start with the encapsulation to stop any moisture from coming up into the house, protect the house, protect the investment. And then right after that, go to do the outside to make sure that no further water comes in underneath that vapor barrier. Right? So it's a home ownership, yay. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. It's almost as fun as owning a semi-truck. Yeah. Problems. Always. It's, it's great. It's great. But I'm still going to buy a truck yet one day. Don't worry. I'm still going to get one. Uh, <laughs> you just got to realize that uh, there, there will be problems. So when they come up, you got to tackle them. So what we're doing right now, we're taking care of uh, all of that. I'm on the way to Canadian Tire right now, which is a store we have in Canada. It's like the man's store, and it's got some other stuff in there too. Uh, they got air purifiers. So just to ensure that our air quality stays good inside the house, I'm going to get an air, air purifier, maybe one for the bedroom, maybe one for the main area, depending on what the prices are, just to keep our air quality in here good, protect the house, uh, because uh, one day when we turn around and want to sell it, we want to make sure that uh, it's in good condition, that we can have a clear conscience and honest, uh, be honest about it when we say, hey, yeah, this house is ready to go. We've taken care of everything, right? You're good to go. And that way the price will reflect the investment we've put into it. So it may be a little bit more expensive, but that's because we have spent a lot of money into making it perfectly livable for the next people, right? And uh, so the air in here is healthy. It's a healthy environment. And plus we wanna have children. And with children and babies, you gotta have healthy, healthy air and stuff in the house too. So we're making sure of that. So air purifier to Canadian Tire. Air purifier, diesel. Everybody was asking about you a truck world. Everybody. Really? Do you, do you really love me, man? Everybody loves you. Everybody. Chevy, they love you too, don't worry. Wiener, Frank, you guys are pretty cool. <laughs> you guys are all great. Okay, I'm going to quickly run to Canadian Tire, right? Yeah, I know. That's my favorite store. That's one of them. 
And I'm gonna go grab an air purifier too, and we're all gonna get our, uh, just make double sure that uh, while we're waiting for our dehumidifier and everything, that uh, things in here stay good, right? You always gotta stay on top of things. Stay on top of it. you gotta know what's going on all the time. All the time. Problems, problems, problems. Isn't that what life's all about? Problems, solving problems. It's not about the problems. Life is about the solution to the problems. Look at it that way, okay? Because problems are gonna come whether you like it or not. How are you gonna handle them? Are you gonna cave under the pressure? Are you gonna just freeze up and not know what to do? Or are you gonna figure out a solution to the problem? Okay, because they're coming for you whether you want them or not. Problems are coming. What are you gonna do about them? You gonna solve them or are you just gonna let it fester? Are you just gonna let it become a bigger problem? You get on the problems, you fix it. Make them not problems. Because you gotta fix this problem because believe me, life has the next problem already lined up. It's already queued, it's in line, it's coming. It's not gonna stop, so. It's better to deal with one problem at a time than deal with this problem and the next when that one comes. So then you got two problems. Now I only got one. Yeah, let's deal with this now. One problem. <sighs> Fun. It's nice to be able to just, you know, grab the pickup keys and go somewhere. When I was in Toronto there, I missed my pickup truck. I did. Oh, don't let me forget, I gotta get a fire alarm. Not a fire alarm, I gotta get a smoke detector. Same thing. Smoke detector. All right, okay, I got everything, wallet, phone, keys, camera, head, don't wanna forget that. Mm -hmm. i forget my head everywhere if it wasn't attached. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, it's cold and wet. Look at this, look at it, disgusting. Disgusting. Completely disgusting. All I want to do is go sit under a palm tree right now. Have a nice cold drink. Maybe about six to eight of them would do. That'd be nice. Why don't we go crazy? Why don't we just have a whole 12 pack to ourselves? I'm off to spend my money that I didn't want to spend. Da 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 Every time I turn around I have to spend and 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 spend Then I wonder where all my money went. Da 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 The potholes in Manitoba too. What happened while I was in Toronto? I landed in Winnipeg and I was driving through Winnipeg. Massive potholes, massive everywhere. There was one pothole on Route 90 headed south out of town, if you're familiar with town, from the airport headed south. And there was a pothole so big that must have just popped up there because nobody saw it coming. There was at least 12 cars after the pothole lined up on the side of the road with flat tires. I nailed the pothole too. Luckily my tires didn't pop on me. And so far it seems like my wheel alignment didn't, didn't go bad. But that wasn't the only one. There was dozens of these potholes. Like you had to, it looked like there was a war in Winnipeg while I was gone. What happened? And now they're in Steinbeck too. Not quite as bad as Winnipeg, but still potholes. Like what happened? Apparently like all the water that we haven't, like all the rain that we haven't had in the last like 20 years all fell down at once while I was there. Everything is just flooded. Everything's got water everywhere. I hope there's like some stuff left at Canadian Tire. I mean, like, it's gonna be busy. It's gonna be busy. Big oceans we gotta drive through here. Yeah, big lakes. Apparently, it was way worse. Britt was saying when she was going to work was yesterday, the day before, like she was scared. The like she didn't realize how deep the water was, and she went through and she was scared the vehicle was gonna stall. And that that's a bad, bad sign too, right? But <laughs> no, she made it through and everything was fine. But. Man, Canadian Tire, Canadian Tire. The man store. And there's stuff in there for the ladies too so that uh, they have something to do while the men shop. <laughs> All right, let's, oh, oh, yeah, let's put it right here, okay. Oh yes. See, I always park way at the back like this. That way I don't get my doors dinged, right? 
But what happens when you park in the back like this and you're obviously trying to avoid all of humanity? You park all the way in the back of the parking lot. What do you think happens every single time? Someone comes and parks right beside you and they ding your door. Am I the only one? I know I'm not the only one because it happened to Libby, uh, which I didn't get into my vlogs. Uh, she's the regional manager of the, uh, the Waterloo Terminal. Uh, she was with us there the whole time and I was going to include her in the vlogs. I'm sorry, Libby, if you're watching this. I meant to include you in the video. I, I wasn't trying to not. I, I totally had planned, but she uh, has a nice Audi car, right? And uh, she's probably going to be mad at me for her my, for reminding her of this now. And uh, she had parked way out in the back. She loves her car, right? So she parks all the way in the back. Someone comes and parks right beside her and she came out after Truck World and someone had dinged her door like bad. Like someone opened the door and just reefed it. Just boom nailed her door she has a huge dent and the worst part was there was a thin layer of dust just from the day over her car and you could tell that they had gotten out and like wiped off the area where their door hit to see if it scratched the paint and they realized it did and they took off that made me so mad and of course it made her mad too i mean it's a nice car nice audi but uh stuff like that happens to me too i got a ding on my door here too or it's actually on my my box on the back on the side of my truck bed I park at the back like this. Someone at Walmart here in Steinbach once dinged me. I don't know how they ended up dinging me up there, but people, be careful in parking lots for crying out loud. And if someone's parked way out yonder in the back, they're there for a reason. Don't go park right beside them if there's an open parking lot. It's silly. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hold on to your doors when you open them. Come on. Let me show you. You grab the handle and don't let go, okay? Open it just a crack. And now, hold on to the door handle itself. Okay, just make sure the door's all the way open. And hold on to this here. Just in case the wind grabs it, you never know. And make sure you don't hit the car beside you. Lessons with Trucker Josh. Now you all have no excuse. Don't ding people's doors. Especially don't ding my door, okay? Jeez. See, they got all kinds of stuff. Don't let me go in a Canadian Tire alone, okay? I got three. <laughs> I'm gonna go and uh, tell my wife now. Don't worry, I have the receipt. But I kind of went all Papa Bear, and uh, we're trying to get uh, uh, Bert's trying to get pregnant, right? And uh, when she is pregnant, uh, she has allergies. Uh, not big allergies to the dogs or anything, she's more allergic to cats and stuff, but uh, with all the air particles in the in the house, having the dogs inside, I figured we should probably have a good filtration system to get the air in the house moving and cleaned, right? So I got a, a, I got a big one for the main area, and I got two small ones, one for each room. One for our room and one for the baby's room, or the dog's room right now, or my office. Our house is under a thousand square feet. It's like 860 square feet. So the big one covers 500 square feet. That's like the main area and everything. And those other ones carry, uh, cover about 100 square feet, right? Yeah, 100 square feet. So five, six, 700 square feet. I'm still under the full 860 that our house is. So I figure that this is, this is the right thing to do, right? Right, please reassure me. I just spent like $800. What have I done? Okay, Canadian Tire, you got me again. And now I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta do the sales pitch to the wife, right? I did the preliminary one. She, I told her I'm gonna go get an air purifier, and yeah, she's like, yeah, good idea, good idea. I didn't tell her I was gonna get three. So I gotta practice my sales pitch. I gotta tell her, this is for the baby, for the dogs, and for you. This is for the health of our home. We are going to have the cleanest air in town. 
Our baby's gonna be a superhuman. He's gonna have superpowers because the air is so clean. It's super air. We're gonna have like super oxygen flowing through our blood. They might even be able to fly. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna, okay, that's my sales pitch to my wife. I'll let you know how it goes. She's at work right now, so I'm gonna go in there and see if she's busy or not and uh, let her know so she has time to think about it a few hours before she gets off work <laughs> so that uh, when she gets home, it's not like a big surprise then. It can be a big surprise now. And by the time she gets back, maybe she'll have thought about it and maybe my sales pitch will have sold her on it and maybe she'll be, oh, it's okay, it's okay. You didn't make a mistake. You're a good husband. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm sold on it, obviously. I think it's a good idea. Super air. Our house is gonna be a super house. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> sales pitch. Sales pitch, Josh. This is for the children. It's for the puppies. This is for the betterment of our life. It will extend our lives decades. We will live much longer, healthier lives. We will be able to breathe much better. Um, the dogs will be very impressed with the air quality of the house. That is important. The dogs will be very impressed. I mean, I think that'll sell her alone. Like, she's gotta impress the dogs, right? Right. I'm gonna go find a parking spot and walk in there. I'll let you know how it goes. I, I, I can't film while I go in there. And, you know, it's just gonna be, I just gotta see if she's busy or not. If she's busy, I, I'm not gonna bother her. But. Wish me luck. Salesman Josh coming right up. Selling the wife on a Canadian tire run. <laughs> I'm the man of the house. I spend money where I want, when I want. Mm. Okay, I won't lead with that. I won't lead with that. If you don't hear from me, she killed me. I'm alive. Were you worried? The darkness? That went really well. I went in there and I was like, hey, yeah, just told her, told her I got, I got a big one for the main area, a little one for the preach room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, oh yeah, cool. So what did it cost? I'm like, well, I have the receipt in case there's uh, any, any, any problems. She's like, how much did it cost? I'm like, uh, don't worry, we can return them if, if, uh, if it was too much. Josh, how much did it cost? $800. And she breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, okay, good. I thought you were going to spend like three grand. Really? I could have spent three grand? That's a missed opportunity. I didn't say that. I was, I was just relieved. I was like, oh, okay, good. Good, 800 bucks is okay then, hey? Okay, we, we have the money right now. We can just quickly get it done. Uh, we're getting a dehumidifier. That's gonna be an expensive one. I guess that's why she might've thought that I was gonna spend more. Because we're getting a very powerful dehumidifier for our crawl space to completely eliminate the problem. Because that's what we do. We go bigger, we go home. Right, and uh, well, we're already home and it's our home that we're fixing. So may as well go big anyways. And we're getting this powerful dehumidifier that's built for crawl spaces and it's gonna be on the main level, but ducted into the crawl space. And it's a, what's it called? A Santa dry air system. And that one costs about two grand uh, plus, you know, installation and stuff. So uh, we always, we want the best. We want our house to have the best. Not all the times, like we're not those people that, uh, have to have the best of everything. Like, look at us, we live in a closet, 800 square foot house, whatever. It doesn't have to be big and fancy, but what we do have has to be good and the best. It doesn't have to be the biggest and the most glamorous, but it has to be the best of what we what we can afford, and what we can do. So uh, we're gonna get that done. And I guess she thought that maybe this would be about the same price because we have to make sure, uh, this is our project for, for this summer, right? I'll talk to you more about it when we get home. We're uh, starting from the bottom, working our way up. I'm gonna quickly get home, get these inside, and I will continue this conversation there. What I was saying before is that we want to start at the bottom of the house and make sure our crawl space is up to par with what we want. Uh, it's got a dirt floor, so ten, <clears throat> 10 inches of space under there. We want to encapsulate it and uh, get a dehumidifier running in there. The dehumidifier is going to be in here and vented underneath to the floor, sucking and blowing air uh, throughout the in, entire crawl space underneath the house. Once we get the crawl space done, uh, then we want to get this main level 
we want to get a uh, new HVAC system or what is it called again a new filtration system for the entire house to get the air moving around the house to get fresh air from outside in old air out just a, a more modernized filtration system built right into our furnace which is behind here oh and I forgot to get a new fire smoke detector always forget something I'll worry about that in a bit but yeah, that's where the furnace is, and we want to just upgrade that. Once we get the level here upgraded, then we move up there, and we want to get the attic looked at. And uh, we'll probably be replacing all the attic insulation. It needs to be updated, and getting everything, uh, getting a guy up there who's qualified and professional. This is what he does for a living. He's going to go up there and make sure everything is as it is, or <laughs> is as it is, is as it's supposed to be. That uh, things like our bathroom fan and stuff, are venting properly outside. I've checked it myself from what I could see. Everything looks fine, but uh, that's our plan. And then once three levels are done, we're gonna redo the interior of this house. We might even build an addition onto it. We don't, we're not sure yet. But for now, this is one step in the right direction. This is our big air purifier. We went, uh, I went with the Honeywell. Got all matching ones, the big ones here. And I got two smaller Honeywells for the bedrooms. I'm just setting this up here. I'm reading the instructions like, uh, like a man because that's what men do right we read the instructions i'm just actually looking at the pictures to be honest with you all right so i got it here because there's a plug-in right there we'll see if we leave it here or not let's we'll see what happens so and then there's a power button Ooh, look it lights up back there that's fancy press it again press it out or turbo Nice. Huh. How about that? We got one loser. Two winners, one loser. Two out of three. This one doesn't work. The first two I set up work great. The one by the window over there in the front, working great. The one in the bedroom over here, working great. See, it's the same style. Working great. Right, Diesel? Chevy's not too sure about it. But, uh, those were great. The other one, the fan, doesn't work. Two out of three, though. Not bad. I'm gonna go return that now. Canadian Tire and see if they got another one. Oh, I'm supposed to be working on my videos all day today. Haven't done a single thing. But I have been making this one, so that's something. Just got more work tomorrow. Woo! Back at Canucky Tire. Got a new filter. They didn't have the same model. But I got the... The smoke alarm now. I remember the smoke alarm this time. See, husband of the year, see? And I got a cheaper version. It does almost the same size of room, a little bit smaller, uh, so that was cheaper, plus the smoke detector, and I actually saved 10 bucks. Behold. Air purification. They actually, they've actually been doing really well. This is the one that I had to go and get replaced. Uh, it's unlike the other ones, but they didn't have a replacement for the other one. But apparently Britt likes this white one better anyway, so this is gonna be for the baby nursery eventually, which this room of chaos, which is now sort of my room, that's why it's in chaos, and Britt likes to remind me all the time that it's chaos, but it's organized chaos. I know exactly where everything is. This is going to be the baby nursery eventually, so all of this stuff is going to get moved to the shop, like most of this. Anyway, story for a different time. We're running out of time here. So that's the air purifier for in here. She likes it better because she thinks that a white purifier like this will blend in better with the baby nursery. I don't know. I don't know. She's happy. That's all that matters. The bedroom here, we have uh, this one here. Why is the lights not going on? It's a complicated house. Come on. There we go. Okay. Boom. See, the other one, that other white one was just like this. I like this one better because it has a, a air uh, quality light. There's green, yellow, and red. Red is bad. Green is good. Yellow is meh. So, uh, I had two of those. They matched in the other one. But the other one didn't work, so. Air quality in this bedroom is good now. Nice. And I'm actually filming this ending clip a little few days later, several days later. So I've had a good chance to uh, 
test them, see if they make a difference. It does make a big difference in the house. The air is fresh. Not only is the air constantly moving now in the house, it's with having the dogs in the house, having the uh, issues with the crawl space and all the moisture outside and everything, it's solved all of those problems. So I, I would recommend them, uh, especially if you have pets in the house to have air purifiers like this. And we have all Honeywell ones. They're working well for us. I mean, I'm sure the other brands work good too, but that's the one I went with. I got it a Canadian tire. Uh, this one I actually moved to over here. This was uh, the wife's idea, and I think it was a good one. Let the record state, the wife had a good idea. Like every idea she has, it was a great one. Every now and then I get a good one too, okay? I'm earning brownie points right now, guys. Just... But seriously, this is a much better spot. It's out of the way, it's in the corner, and... Uh, it cleans the air of this whole entire space here. And it also has a, a an air purifier or air quality light right there. And I see it flashing in here right now. That's the frame rate on the camera. It's not actually flashing in real life here. It's a solid light. But uh, if I go in closer, it'll probably stop flashing, I bet. One second, you're probably gonna hear some air movement. We're gonna try and test this. Huh, I even if I go close. You know how close it's I don't know what's going on. My eyes don't see it flashing like that, but this camera's in there. Yeah. Solved all the problems. This is the part where uh, people go, good job, Josh. And I go, thank you. Thank you. Solved the problems. That's it for today. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend. We're back to trucking tomorrow. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.